Good evening, Ultimate Golf Duff here with a bit of a controversial topic. Grids, are they allowed or are they not? Sure they are, they're fine, everyone uses them. Now I'm gonna teach you now how to set it up on an Apple device, pretty quick and easy, so that you can get out there and see what it's all about. First things first, go into your settings. Once you're there, accessibility. You see it halfway down. Accessibility. Now we're going down to voice control. We're going to turn that on. And again at the top, voice control on. And once we see this, there should be a slight delay and the grid should pop up. There it is. Now you may not have this set up down where it says overlay. So you may have to hit overlay and then go to numbered grid. What I use is four rows and two columns, and that's what you see there. I won, I don't know, 500 tournaments using this exact one. I've since, uh, since moved over to an Android device, device, but this is more than adequate. Now you'll see if you change the rows, you can go six, whatever you want, five. Basically, it's just adding. So you, it's where you're gonna make your adjustment from. What was I, four? Now columns, some people like a lot of columns because they want to line over by that window. So if you want, you can like do as many as 10. I think there's more. But just keep in mind, you always want to use the one in the middle when you're making your adjustments. So there's that, it's on. Now, what I did to turn it on and off is you can go under touch now, still under the accessibility options, go under touch. And if you go to the very bottom is back tap, click on that. And I set mine for the triple click, tri triple uh, tap on the back. And if you scroll down, you can set that to voice control. So now all you have to do is triple tap on the back of your phone. And there you can see it turned off and then triple tap and it'll come back on. It'll come back on. You can see it's on because that blue's in the corner. Sometimes it's just delayed. There it is. Anyway, I'm gonna turn that off because I don't use it anymore. But now you have a quick and easy way of turning on your grid. Now, what does a grid do? It, it doesn't magically uh, charge your phone. It doesn't magically tell you where to move it or anything like that. All it does here, let's go into the big shot for fun. It just keeps everything in a nice straight line. So let's look at this big, big shot. Tailwind. Someone was saying earlier today that you can't reach this in a headwind. So here, how would you use a grid in a game? I can go into length of this, but let's just do a quick one for fun on this quick shot, on this big shot. Oh, well, what is this gonna do? I have no idea. Full backspin? Sure, why not? So here, I'm gonna move it, let's say five rings. So this is all a grid does. So you line up your wind arrow, right? You get that in a nice straight line, and then you just put your two lines, so you keep that in the middle, and then you put your other one at the five mark, you can see it there, it's halfway through, at the five mark, and then you pull down five rings. Boom, that's what a grid does. That's it, that's all. Now let's hit this and for fun, see where it goes. Oh, short, long, I have no idea at this point. Oh, damn near jarred it. Well, while we're here, why don't we, uh... so look at this. So I'm one, two, three rings long there, right? Three rings long and I moved, I adjusted five. So let's do this for fun. A little bonus lesson. How to, because the wind stays the same for all of these big shots. So I was at max. Did I add left curl? I can't remember. I think I added two. So I was at max. Now look it, I landed three rings long. So that is about that long, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. So let's back up. It's about one of these rings. So let's go back one ring, right? And I move five rings. Well, I can be consistent now because I have my grid. So let's go five rings.
And I was, what, just barely left of center, eh? So let's go, like, one tick right. There. All right, let's see what this does now. Oh, great, left. But my distance should be better. Yeah, look at that. Distance was perfect. Should we try one more? Why not? If you've bought the Seasons Pass, these are great for um, getting some balls and some game cash. Look at that. All right, let's try one more, and we'll try and hit perfect this time. So we were full back. I think one and a bit left. Aiming at it. There. And then we came back one full ring, right? One full ring. And then we came back five rings. So it's all about looking where your miss is and then adjusting your aim point based on that. All right. Let's concentrate. Hit perfect here. There we go. Oh, no. I lost the feed. Oh, well, let's show it here. Oh, let me try and get it plugged back in. Oh, it rolled right by the hole. Look at that. This is what happens when you buy cheap cables off of uh, Amazon. Anyway, how was that for horrible timing? All right, so we did a grid lesson and a bonus big shot lesson. Hit like, hit subscribe. Take it easy out there. See you.